Well, folks, uh, we're about to get started uh, momentarily. You can see the match at hand is going to be Eric Hollison. He's going to be playing Mr. Earl Strickland. But uh, before we actually get started, we have a lot of sponsors to thank. Uh, so we're going to do that this way here. We're ahead of the game because once Mike Zuglin starts the announcements, it just seems like it's never going to end. There's 16 tables in here, and he announces every match. So without further ado, we would like to welcome you to the 28th Turning Stone Classic, and we're coming to you live from Verona, New York, in upstate. Mr. Mike Zuglin, the tournament director, has been running the Josh Tour for many years. This is the finale every year. In fact, he signed the contract for January for the next Turning Stone event, and uh, we already have people signed up and paid their entries. Let's run through some of the sponsors on board. Of course, Checkio. And light-systems.com. Um, can't really uh, emphasize how strong light-systems.com is right now. They actually put the lighting in at the freezer house for Scott Frost. They did the spot, the brand new pool room just opened up, and many other pool rooms around the country. It's the technology that everybody's going with. The lights almost are invisible. You don't have a big box around them. No shadowing. The lights are just tremendous. It's light-systems.com. That's right, light-systems.com. Make sure you put the hyphen in between. Um, they also come out with a, some new technology uh, where the light is, I would have to say, about two and a half foot long, maybe, maybe three, 30 inches, about a quarter inch thick, and about six inches wide, and lights up a seven foot pool table. They have the new item right here at the Turning Stone. Come on by and take a look at this technology. Go on their website and make sure to check out their products, light-systems.com. We also would like to thank Kamui. We want to thank uh, Mark Dion. Uh, he's got some major events coming up. In fact, I believe it's next weekend. He's got a major event taking place, I believe, in Bowes, if I'm not mistaken. It's like $5,000 added. He's got so much money going into his tour. It's MD Promotions out of New England. Make sure to get in touch with Mark Dion. Get on board. He's on board with AZB TV. It's MD Promotions. Get to be friends with him on social media. It's Mark Dion. And Matt, who happens to be in the chat room right now, is on board with another Turning Stone event. It's Chalky Sticks, okay? And this is an app that you can download for absolutely free. Uh, it's uh, available for Android. It's available for iOS devices such as, you know, Apple and, you know, the MacBooks and whatnot. 
it, you turn on your location, it'll let you know what's the nearest pool room to you. And if you happen to find a pool room that's not charted on the app, make sure to get in touch with them and let them know they will add it to the app. But there's rule books on there and diagrams. There's videos to improve your game. Uh, there's players on it that send out challenge match requests right on the app. Uh, as far as the Chalky Sticks pad, it's a virtual pool table that you can actually hold in the palm of your hand and customize your own drills and share them on social media uh, with your friends and, and anybody out there on social media. They got Chalky Sticks TV. It's a 24-hour line, uh, 24 hours online service that airs all the matches and you name it. I'm telling you, it's Chalky Sticks. It's ChalkySticks.com for that app right there. Uh, we did mention uh, light-systems.com. The technology became thinner. It's now a quarter inch thick. And they could actually adjust the light for the brightness that you want or that you require. As you get older, like a lot of the, the, um, the Q-Stick repair people are really getting inquisitive about this lighting. Because as you get older, you know, sometimes the better lighting that you have, you can see better. So uh, they can actually adjust the power to your needs. BaltimoreCityQs.com, they are here on premises. Uh, they brought their store, it's a mobile store. And they'll bring anything to your location uh, from anything from tips to tables, it's BaltimoreCityQs.com. Uh, American Pew, uh, Q Pickers, that's Mr. Greg Antonakis. Uh, he's got the Southwest Qs and other custom Qs. You can get in touch with Greg at GA9Ball at gmail.com. Of course, the Kings of Vapor and the Kings of Billiards in Akron, Ohio. Uh, these guys, I can't say enough about. Uh, they sponsor so many different events, not only pool. Uh, they also sponsor UFC fighters. In fact, they were out in Vegas uh, for the fight, for the McGregor fight. Uh, Chad Bowling and Stephanie and the whole family. It's the Kings of Vapor.com. Uh, pool on the net.com. Uh, they design websites and uh, just about everything you need for the internet. It's pool on the net.com. And Mr. Mike Burton, he's actually here and he has an array of cues, all Joss, from the past to the present. And it's, it's really a nice sight to see. He set up a nice booth here. And uh, if you're interested in one of the older cues or the present cue, you could reach uh, Mike Burton at mike at mbqs.com. Believe me, when I tell you, if you can get here to see this array of sticks, it's really nice. And every one of the sponsors around the screen, there they are, Kamui, AZ Billiards, Aramith Balls, Josh Cues, the main sponsor on board, Checchio, Simonis Cloth, and JB Cases. That's right. John Barton, uh, he stands behind his equipment. He's on board also. And like I said, the first match is going to be Earl Strickland and Eric Hollis. And I'm going to stand by as Mike Zuglin's coming down the aisle. George Rodriguez, Retro Mini Tournament. 
Okay, folks, here we go. They're lagging for the break. We want to welcome some guest commentators. We got Mr. Pancake Shoots out of New Bergen Gallery Billiards, along with Steve Way. That's right, it's spelled W-A-Y. And sitting in the box is John Francisco from the Artitude Tattoo Parlor down in the story of Queens, New York. Welcome aboard, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. We got a five-time world champion, five-time U.S. Open champion, the mighty Earl, the Pearl Strickland. And his opponent, uh, Eric Hollison, is nobody to blink an eye out, let me tell you. You guys know him from Canada? Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah. I don't know much of him. But. Oh, he's a straight shooter. He shoots a lot out of Jimmy White's place up in Corner Bank in Canada. New, the new room that Jimmy opened up. And uh, I I'm looking for a real good match. Now, if Earl Strickland should punch a gear, Johnny, you know, and really get into that fierce mode, I, I think it could be a runaway. Listen, Earl, uh, Earl could win this tournament. Oh, Earl's capable of winning anything. Earl still plays real good. Five-time U.S. Open champion. Pretty scary, right? But I don't think Eric's scared. I practiced with him today. Uh, he, he doesn't miss a ball, this kid. Where's he from? Canada, you said? Canada, yes. And he's not a small guy. He can hit his head on the light. <laughs> <laughs> he is tall. Watch the rock. Black and Slate, Nova Scotia. He's a regular here at Turning Stone as well as on our tour. 2013 Nova Scotia Provincial 8-Ball Champ, Doug Brown. Earl's got those and finger extensions going. going. He's from Bayside, New York. He's the owner of Rack's Pool Room and Grill down in West Hempstead. We're going to have a stop at his room again, April 28th and 29th, 2018. Great player, holding chin. Good luck. On 11 from Ontario, New York. Winner on our tour. The problem here is three to the four ball. You know, he, he looked at the upper corner going with the three ball past the eight. I don't believe it goes by. If it did, it'd be good enough. Maybe it does. It just might. We'll take a look at that on our other camera. It does. And that, that makes the, the work a little bit easier getting to the four ball, which is down towards the lower cushion. I think the early days is going to be uh, whoever's breaking best because the balls are spreading really nice and the tables are playing pretty easy. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Earl Strickland just won a 10-ball Maryland 10-ball uh, championship. Yeah, I just saw that, yeah. yeah. He's going to have to work his poker matches. And you're going to win this match, Jason. Oh, Aquasani, New York is... Can't break dry on Earl. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Not very these tables. Very smooth, very smooth. All right. Jason Hall. Have fun. <laughs> All right. He also was practicing a lot on this table before uh, before the match. So, now John Francisco, you got uh, some other things going on we'll talk about uh, as we proceed with the match. I would like to mention uh, Johnny Francisco's got a tournament going. And it's coming along very nicely, by the way. Yeah, we have a handicap tournament going on in uh, Q-Bar in Bayside. 
right? So uh, every other alternating Saturdays and Sundays. Fire away, Mr. Earl. It's a nice rack. One nothing, guys. Now it is a race to nine uh, throughout the tournament until the finals. The finals is a race to 13, just an extended race. I was just outside with Jason Shaw getting some fresh air. He's looking at the golf course and we were out there and uh, Jason, if he should snap this off, he'll tie Johnny Archer's record at six. Johnny has six wins at the Turning Stone and uh, Jason, that's what he's shooting for. He's pretty pumped up. He's got four in a row right now, right? Four in a row. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. It sure is. I mean, you take a look at this field out here. You know, it's not jello and you can just go through it, you know? No, definitely not. Well, you got Shane here now. You know, he hasn't been here the last couple of uh, yeah. turning stones, so. Well, Jason actually wants to play Shane in the finals. That's, it. that's what he said. But he said he'll play whoever. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to see a match between Jason Shaw and Johnny Archer and try, you know, Johnny try to hold Absolutely. Jason back. Absolutely. You know? Are they even in the same bracket? I didn't see the bracket. Jason's uh, bracket, he said, it was not easy, but he says, you know, that he doesn't really have that many big guns on his bracket right now. So you got Billy Thorpe is here, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget Billy. Earl overran it. The speed is uh, really crucial right now because it's brand new cloth. The air in here is nice and crisp, so the, the cue ball is going to travel. Now, as we uh, proceed with the tournament, day two or day three, they're going to start tightening them. Cloth's going to start tightening up a little bit, but right now it's flying. Yeah, that's for sure. And by the way, we are playing on Simonis 860. Uh, Simonis is on board as a sponsor. Way back when we were all playing a lot then. See the Mistakes like that will cost you uh, playing Earl and vice versa. If Earl should make a mistake like that, it should cost you. That's what the game's all about. And uh, right now, uh, Earl Strickland with ball in hand. Uh, I don't see any issues here, guys. A little slight angle just to slide over for the four in the bottom left-hand corner here. Looks pretty open to me. I'd like to get you to move over just a little bit, John, so I can get you guys in this. And I want Pancake to move in if you can. Just for the shot. Just for the shot so everybody knows who you guys are. Pancake, they want to see what you look like. They That's heard, right. They they wanna, you're the they name wanna. heard around the world. <laughs> <laughs> they want to put the name with the, there they with are, the face. Folks. Steve right. Way in the middle and Pancake on the end. And John Francisco with the tattoo from the Artitude. By the way, we will have Mr. Pat Fleming uh, on live stream. We have his match scheduled. And I'll give you some update on the matches that we're going to have. Didn't Pat just win a tournament recently? Yes, he qualified to go to China. Oh, the Chinese yeah. April. Chinese April, yes. Let me see if I can uh, pull this up. Uh, this is the 4 o'clock round, so I'm looking for 6 o'clock. All right, so it's going to be uh, six o'clock match is going to be Mika Eminent and Eric Colter. Uh, that's uh, six o'clock round. Eight o'clock round will be uh, Matrado and uh, Pat Fleming. Eight o'clock round. And the 10 o'clock round will be Martin Diego and Danny Hewitt, contain uh, both Canadians, uh, both great shooters. No doubt. Danny Hewitt's a really good player. Yeah. Great, great player. What happened to Earl? Missed something, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. So did Eric. He might have made it. That's not a horrible mess. Earl doesn't have to like this at all. He's got a nice safety. He's going to kick it in. Earl's going for blood. Earl playing with construction boots on. Wow. Kicks it right in the hole. Good shot. Oh, oh. my goodness. 
one one. Wow. Rare you see Earl make a mistake like that. Tables. Yeah. You know, right now they're a little, little forgiving. You can hit the cushion and rub in. Yeah. You know, as they tighten up, of course they're going to stay up in the pockets. But he just hit that bad. Yeah. You know, when you hit the points with these shelves, yeah. they're just going to rattle and sit right there. And this is the kind of equipment that Earl loves. You know, he doesn't want a table what he considers boingy and go drops in the pocket. He wants it to sit on that table. Yeah. You know, so he knows that well, he missed that. In. It's very rare you even see him hit anything when he hits a ball in the pocket. He splits the hole, you know. Right, right. And that no concession rule is pretty big, too, especially for someone like Earl after missing that shot. Yeah. You want to smack the ball in the pocket. <laughs> he actually held it. You see yeah. him, he held yeah. it. And he I think that's it. something that Earl's controlling more and more. I noticed since he moved out of New York, yeah. he's become a different person. He's got that little comfort zone a little bit, you know. Well, you know, it's hard to live in New York, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Certainly is. <laughs> Ooh, bad kick. No good. Let's see if Earl can make him pay here. I got a little trouble with the four ball. They had a four and the eights tied up. Yep. Oh, he's going for the combo. How'd he hit it? He hit Look it at good. that shot. 2 1 Earl. <laughs> I would say he made him pay for that one. I'm not going to mess with it. We'll wait for Al to come back and <laughs> put the score up. <laughs> It's 2 1. <laughs> Pancake, how far you live from here? Three hours. Three hours? Yeah, three oh. hours, 15 minutes. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. How was the ride? It was nice. Nice ride in? Nice ride in. We stopped, went to the outlets, <laughs> shopping a little bit. It took hey, us like eight hours to get here. They nice. went to the commons? Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. 2 1. Eric? Yes. Two, two one Earl. Earl. Earl? Yes. Okay. Earl's breaking two one. And he drops the ball. It looks like he one ball. Nope. depends on that six ball. I think he's got a pocket. I'm gonna open up a chat for uh the commentators, uh Pancake, Steve and uh Johnny. I'm gonna put it down the other end where you guys can actually read it just in case uh like Pinky is online or whoever. You guys might know. Drop it right there in front of you. If anybody gets out of hand, there's plenty of moderators in there experience. So, <laughs> uh, what did I do there? One second. There we go. Trying to make it bigger. From here, I can hardly see it. They there see pancake. They might be thinking syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the Mighty Earl leads here. It's two to one. You are watching the Turning Stone Classic, 28. I tell you, Mike runs a beautiful tournament here. Right? It's a very nice venue. Takes no junk. If you've never been to the Turning Stone, this place is a beautiful place here. Not only to play in, but the seating arrangement. There's theater seating. It's all cushioned, and it's free for spectators. And not only that, you swipe your card, you get $10 free play every day. Really? <laughs> yeah, every that's, day. That's pretty good. They kind of accommodate you. I mean, they appreciate everybody coming out. Looks like uh, GA Nine Ball there is asking uh, who gave me the name. I think he knows who gave uh, me the name. You know who that is, right? Oh yeah, that's the guy who gave me the name. That's that's Greg. That's Greg. That's oh, Greg. <laughs> it's Greg Antonakis. The debacle. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I knew I had to open that chat down there for some reason. It's <laughs> a good guy, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, buddy? Looks like the uh, three ball is pinned on the rail, and it should be a, a makeable shot. Four balls up by the nine. Instead of, I don't know if he tried to make that. If he did, it was a very bad shot. I well, left it kind of funny. Earl plays some jam up safe, though. Yeah. Let's go to the other camera angle here. 
just going to feather the three over towards the nine and bring the cue ball up. That's table. a good shot right there. That's a good shot. If he hit him. Well, he might have left the shot. There's a gap Give there. Him a window. Yep, there's a gap. Mm, is there really? It's close. I guess there is. Yeah. if any of this is the Earl Strickland factor that he's playing. You know, he's little. thinking the same thing. No, no, not at all. Not with Eric. No. <laughs> he's too seasoned for that. Really? His, probably his first initial time he played him, but he's played him numerous times. I want to say hello to our wow. uh, Canadian friends up there in Canada who are simulcasting this right into Canada and uh, actually commentating in French. They muted our audio and... Uh, I want to say thank you to those guys for doing that. Spreading the word through Canada. You know, they got R.D. Lang uh, yes. here tonight at 8 o'clock. Right. I know. Too I bad I got the 8 o'clock match. I can't, <laughs> I can't even see him. I got invited to it. I, I got to be here. Yeah. You know? Sure. Yeah, it should be pretty funny. I would take your spot in the booth, but I got to be playing, so can't even do I this. I actually know, hit that you know Audie, real good. Audie Lang was with Howard Stern for many years. Of course. Oh, yeah. don't know. I actually had a friend of mine, and actually they called him the caller. If you YouTube it, they called him the caller. He was a limo driver and drove a lot of actors and actresses around, including really? Howard Stern and a bunch. Well. And he was on that show numerous times, too. Yeah. You hold it. Nice shot. That's a good shot. Oh, might roll out real far. It leaked out a little bit. It's out far enough. Are looking to get back behind the seven here. Didn't get behind the seven. Still no give me from here, though. They're both trying to get their uh, grasp on the speed here. Yeah, new cloth's tough. That's what it looks like. Yeah. down here before the uh, before this match started and uh, Billy Thorpe and Shane Van Bowen were practicing the table behind Earl and they were riling him up a little bit <laughs> getting him going he was explaining to them how straight pool is uh, his game of choice and how he could beat any of them giving them a pretty know you, big spot I don't know if you guys remember when uh, Karen Court beat Earl Strickland here I saw the video on Facebook yeah. <laughs> uh, the well, handshake about a week I think <laughs> weekend after that I happened to be doing a stream in New York and Earl was practicing uh, prior to the tournament and Shane walked in because Shane was in the tournament too and Shane said hey Earl what happened with Karen <laughs> <laughs> Earl said I can't believe I lost to a girl <laughs> and Shane said don't worry I lost to a lot of girls <laughs> yeah, Shane was right he did lose to a few girls you know the Korean Korean girls and uh, Chinese girls and, you know Girls are just girls. I mean, they can play, man. Absolutely. There's a young lady playing in this tournament, and her name is Ja Lee. Oh, Ja Lee plays real well. She does, and she ain't afraid to gamble. Oh, no. Jennifer's Definitely here. Not. Jennifer Brett is yeah. playing. Karen's here. Ja Lee's in a lot of guys' pockets. So, you know, with Earl saying that, I can't believe I lost to a girl, I think that had a big factor on his match. Probably was playing in his head. Yeah. He definitely didn't look happy with the handshake there right at the right, end. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Karen put the heat on him. Yeah, yeah. And the crowd was with her, you know. That's one thing about Earl. He hasn't lost the fire in him, and that's why he's still playing really good. He's a great shooter. Yeah. yeah great shooter. He looks, over, he looks a lot nine calmer a now. So funky been, on that nine ball right there. That's right. You're right. You're absolutely right, John. I talked to him down in uh, Valley Forge. 
behind wow, that ball nice guy. Shot. And uh, he seemed, seemed so much more relaxed. Earl Strickland goes up three to one in this race to nine. Earl Strickland relaxed. Yeah, it's hard to believe, right? Oxy, oxymoron, for sure. It's, it's funny. <laughs> you know, he's, he's my hero, man. I tell you, the guy is a... Uh, Listen, I he, grew up watching him. He was my idol. That's uh, everybody wanted to be Earl Strickland. You know, he, he splits a great triple player. shin pockets like the like the peanut butter. I mean, yeah. just goes right through them. Him and him and Efren Reyes were the two uh, top two guys mm -hmm. back in the days. Oh, well, yeah, Nicky Vonner. Yeah, he had a lot yeah. of good pros. But they were the ones that you wanted to see playing. You know, I think his his big thing was not only the five world championships and five U.S. Open champions, but also that million dollar win in C.J. Wiley's room just opened up. And they had a publicity stunt, and they hired this. They took on board this insurance company uh, to put up a million dollars if somebody could run, like, I don't know, 11 racks or something like that. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. And they they got him with, like, combos or whatever. They said that it didn't count. Or no, something. no, no. He got paid. Oh, did he get paid for that? Oh. An undisclosed amount. I talked to Earl about it. He did get paid. Another scratch off Even the Even if it was 11 racks with combos, that's still hard to do. <laughs> it's not easy to do. But then again, he, he broke a lot different oh, than he sorry does about now. That, guys. We went black, but we're back. Earl used to have a real big break, right? Big break? I don't know. He kind of breaks the same yeah. as he used to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't see uh, any difference in his break. Of course, he got older. Yeah. But Earl always says... Uh, Earl always says um, that if he can really perform with a better break shot, that nobody would have a shot. That's what he was telling Shane yeah. down here earlier. He said, if uh, you didn't have the break you had, you'd have no chance against me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Earl, the Muhammad Ali of pool. Eric looks like he's uh, taking the game a little more uh, deliberate. Uh, he knows he can't let Earl get too far out in front. It's now three to one. Let me update that score for you guys at home. That's a good shot right there. Yeah, that box break is a big factor too. We've already had two scratches off the breaks, one by each player. You know, this is the, uh, the old rules of nine ball. Mike Zuglin tries to keep the tradition going, the tradition going. And uh, he made an announcement during the players meeting and he, he does it just about every turning stone uh, because people are now, now, now racking the nine ball on the spot, racking the one ball halfway off, you know, crazy things like that and changing the game. And Mike says, look, I'm open for suggestions. As soon as everybody gets together and comes up with one rule, I'll just go with it. You know what the problem the problem with pool is uh, there's there's not really a governing body. Well, there is. I mean, it, but everybody together do, does the same thing as professionals, you know? It's everybody like baseball, we all have the same rules. Basketball, we have the same rules. It's uh, pool, even tennis, uh, I'm watching the U.S. Open today. It's the same rules every tournament, basically, just different surfaces, you know? Right, right. Now this kid's starting to put it together a little bit. Yeah, he plays good. I was playing him with him in practice. He didn't really miss too many balls. <laughs> you know, in these tables, the first couple days is crucial to this, the break. You know, you break the ball spread nice, you drop a ball, you know, you have control of the table. Well, there was a couple of players in here, professional players, and I noticed that they were moving from, they, they practiced a little while, and then they were moving from chair in front of each table to next chair in front of each table because people were practicing and they were watching the break. Yeah. and see the reaction of the ball, which is pretty smart. Yeah. Right. And they went from table eight right up to table one, and then they came down the other side. Wow. You know, you got to do your homework. When It's like any other sport. Anything that you can do. Give yourself an edge. You know, yeah, right, right. To, to load up your ammunition with, and it works. You know, it helps. Absolutely. Now, he didn't hit those balls hard at all. See, you noticed nice that, you see? Yeah. And I hit the nice cut break. Yeah. I mean, even breaking from the box, if you break, you know, from either either corner, you're still getting a nice enough angle where you could cut the nine ball, you know, do a nine ball cut break. 
Greg Antonakis, GA9 ball in the chat, says Eric has a second place finish here at the Turning Stone. Yeah, he's right. Oh, that's what someone told me earlier. I think it's more impressive, too, the taller you are as a player to get down low to get the angles that you need to get. Yeah, after a while, that's got to take a toll on oh, you. Oh, absolutely. You know? the, to conserve energy in this game is tough, too. Yep. That's why, why those little, little Filipinos are so good, right? Well, they can't reach a lot of the shots, so they played a position with the cue ball closer to the rest right. than, right. you know, your basic uh, size person that plays the game. Alex Pagalai is one of those. They also hit those behind the back shots pretty well, too. Yeah. Some of them that they can't reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's think, thinking about safety here, maybe. Well, the, he can spin off the two and come out three rails and get behind the three for the side pocket, but then you got to go for the four. Yeah. So is there a reward there? Let's see what he does. Looks like he's shooting it. Well, then he's got problems coming down from the four. Yeah, sure. Same. Feathering the nine ball, sent the cue ball in a drink. It's ball in hand for the pearl. Yeah. Wide open table. He could have probably played a pretty decent safe on him, too. Send the two down table and put him behind that stack of balls. I think the safe was definitely warranted in that position there. But you know, Eric gives a lot of lessons up in Canada. He's a, he's a real professional. And, uh, you know, what we see and what they see are two different animals. Oh, absolutely. You know, and uh, it's just what your comfort zone is. You know, you might like a, a sharper angle cut shot than anybody else. Like Corey Duell will take chances right. that you've never seen people take. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he shines. Jason Shaw, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that kid shoots at everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's just an animal. <laughs> it's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been in the game long enough. He's uh, had a... Oh, wow. Wow. And that's what the diamond tables will do. Earl's pointing at the commentator's booth. He doesn't hear us, that's for sure, guys, so don't worry about it. These mics in front of your face are real sensitive. He doesn't hear us. I think that was your fault, Al. <laughs> you, you can blame it on me. That's fine. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time that uh, that happened. Uh, we're set up here uh, in front of this table about, uh, I'd say, a good 10 feet away, and we have monitors in front of us. Uh, so we really don't have a hard time seeing the table. said that he heard uh, the commentators here, but uh, believe me when I tell you these are directional microphones, very professional, and uh, Earl cannot hear us unless we really get loud, and he can. I mean, you'd have to scream. But it's all good, Earl. Just keep your head in the game. We're tied at three apiece. Number seven, Eric Olson, set to break him up. Watch the wing ball and the one ball. The wing ball went right in the pocket. The one ball goes up table towards the upper left hand corner. No cut break line. that time either. Nah, he, he hit that one pretty hard. He's yeah. got a shot. It's like the only trouble might be the seven eight down there in the round. Well, the one to the two, he's got to come down for the yeah. two at the bottom of the uh, table here, the short cushion. Okay. Depends on how straight he is. Let's see. Because he had plenty of angle there. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. Got more angle than we actually wanted on this one, too. Yeah. That's due to the speed of the cloth right now. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I've been noticing in this match is it looks like the cue ball's been running a little further than they want. Probably 
up and down, let's say. Oh, wow. And it's little things like that when Earl missed that eight ball yeah. and he starts pointing around, that sets the fuse in that booster that he carries around in his between his ears. And That's right. He's dangerous. Gets him going. Oh, yeah. He's dangerous. And he thrives on it. Taking a look at the seven, he wants to make sure that he has enough room in there to pocket that seven ball in the corner. I think he does. You got to make the five first. Eric's looking at the same thing. Yeah, but he's looking to play the short side of it to try to get up towards the rail, the short rail up at the top of the monitor a little bit. Yep. And then he's going to have to come all the way around the table. The problem with that is got to straighten out that cue ball to stay on the left side of an eight or play the inside of the eight, the short side, and that's dangerous. That's what he's going to do. He's going to play the eight, the cue ball long. Play it into the eight, hold it up. Yeah. He got a more angle than he wanted. Yeah, now he might be forced to go back and forth. I think he wanted to get low on this seven ball. Unless it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. look at that. Yeah. What do you do here? You just thin, thin the seven? Like he's gonna try to thin it. Yep. Just slow roll. It's a good shot. Well, he's not gonna like his next one. Earl's just gonna slow roll this and just bunt into that seven ball. Missed it, but I don't know if uh, Eric can make it. Really, to tie them up is the best. Feel shots are tough on yeah. this new cloth, for sure. Absolutely. As the seven ball keeps getting closer towards that corner, don't be surprised if Earl starts kicking at it. Not for the safety either. either. He'll be kicking at it for the win. Hmm. Not sure if the seven rested on the rail, but the cue ball got cue. to the rail. Yeah, seven hit the rail. I don't know if he can make it. Still no give me here. I guess the seven wasn't frozen. Gotta go up and down here, right? The problem with that up and down is firing that cue ball into that short rail, controlling the speed. When Earl Strickland gets stumped after seeing a million of these shots, then you know something's wrong. Wow, going lefty. <laughs> That's a great shot. Watch the rock. Ooh. Wow, how'd he hit it? That was a good shot. I think somebody said something uh, <laughs> from the uh, spectators area. 
Carl has to soak that up and just get down and shoot the ball. I would think for it definitely as Earl, long as Earl has played, he's definitely used to his fair share of heckling and. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot, Mr. Strickland. It's now four to three in favor of Earl. Racing to nine. I want to uh, introduce uh, another guest commentator as uh, John Francisco had to step out. We got the KGB uh, president here. Uh, our man, Alex Barokovich. His voice is known throughout Russia and Derby City Classic. He's with us here at the booth. Give you a little flash, Alex. There he is right there. Not too much. Where are you? Where are you, Alex? Number two. Ooh, that's three. There you go. Hello, guys. That's the three stooges right there. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are great, man. Believe me, we appreciate all the help, and uh, just want to let you guys know that the door is always open here. Thank you, Al. No, I thank you. Keep me company here. <laughs> Alex, uh, how's your uh, mini vacation so far here in uh, upstate New York? I'm working very hard. Oh. And the one, the five ball hung up, and... Uh, the one ball almost went in the side. Eric Paulison does have vision on the one. He can play the combination. That's the four ball hanging in the corner. So he can play the one four combination. The cue ball, though, he's got to control here. That five and seven are real huge in the middle of the table, even if he makes the combination. Watch the five seven. Wow. wow. He almost hit the pocket. That would have been dangerous. The pocket, I mean, between the five seven. It was actually a great shot considering yeah. how much, um, how many obstacles were there. Now he's got to look at the five if it goes past that nine ball. He's got to come on the other side. Or he can play the five nine if it's uh, fairly easy. Five nine shot. looks like a good combo. You can see in the preview. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think it goes in the other pocket unless he goes in the side. He didn't get to the five yet. He still has to make the two is good, but position on the three. How's the six ball look? Well, I think what he was just looking at was seeing if the five goes in the same pocket that he's going to hit the two in. Right. That's what he was looking at. He was looking at the angle off the three to get to that side of the five. Yeah, wow. Wow. Without touching a ball. Almost looked like he tried to hit into it. Talk about threading a needle. Man, I don't know. I'm not what a shot. I believe he tried to go into it, but, yeah. you know, well, you now, never know what these Now guys. he has a, another tricky shot. Well, he's got the shot to come back for the 5-9 combination now. Cut the three and then just let the cue ball come back where his hand is. Going to hit something. Oh, he hit it hard. Uh, yeah. Kind of made a mess. And he now. scratched. You see, when he was shooting the two, I would have gone between the six and the other group of the balls, and between the six and five, into the corner, come out another two rails, so go four rails for the three, play three in the side. That's a little too and advanced for me at this point. I already <laughs> forgot what he did with the one ball. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, though. And he would have had an easier pass from three to five. Earl making his job a little bit easier there by separating that 7-8. You know, we had Earl in the commentator's booth a few times, and I'll tell you what, you just don't get any better than Earl. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I asked him, when will he commentate again? He said, when I retire, he said, when I can't do this no more, he says, then I'm going to put on a microphone. And he's really great commentator. Great. We got so many great responses from him. He has so much knowledge. I would I would venture to say that he alone has as much knowledge as together most of the people in this room. Well considering he got young guns now, different equipment. If the young guns were to play on the equipment that he played yes, on. But knowledge wise, yeah. he he has so much experience. Yes. 
Yeah. He's playing since what, 92? But believe it or not, I've or seen many times way where before that. I, or, or way before that. <laughs> way before yeah. 92, I, yeah. I've seen Earl. Well, he, he got the uh, U.S. Open in 92 or, or something. But I've seen Earl Strickland actually sit down with Shane Van Boning many a times and other professional players and then get on the table and study a shot that he had a problem with. Look at that break, oh, huh? Man. That Earl had a problem with. And he would ask Shane, what, what do you think is the best way on the shot? And Shane would give him his input. It happens. You, you yeah, want to sure. know al alternate ways of doing the same thing. You Look at a nine ball, Alex, as Steve said. That nine ball towards the corner pocket is pretty dangerous. That was off the break? Yeah, yeah. the nine almost yeah, went the, in. The, the two ball trickled in. He's he made three balls on the break. Yeah. He was hoping that two ball hung up. <laughs> And, and the three ball looks like it's pinned to the rail. Yeah. Yep. See him firing that all the way in the corner? You're playing the billiard towards the nine? Or firing the three he's towards the nine? He's going to. No, no, no. He's going to cut it down the rail. He's going he's to play rail. position on the four. I missed it. Oh wow, hey. Yeah. Don't missed forget, we got brand new cloth here. That's right. Forgiving tables. That's just, it. Just for a day or two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah after that, they get tight. Uh, I'll see when you get on the table, see how much forgiveness is there. <laughs> right. That, that's true, too. You gotta he's not again. making that shot on no Saturday, that that's for sure. That's a different. That's a different. Does that six story. go? Uh, uh, I don't think it goes past the eight. Look nah, on a preview over he's here. Gonna play looks it on looks the like right. he's going to slide it up a little bit. Good Earl Strickland leading here five to three. It's a race to nine. We're into this match. It's the first match of today. It's four o'clock match. We're now recording for 52 minutes, but I had an intro before that. So about 40 minutes, I would say, this match so far. And we already got almost nine games under our belt. There's a two hour, more or less a limit on each. Wow. Oh my God. Nine. That corner pocket, Earl was on his table early. And, and he knows why it rattled oh. like this. He knows. Earl had trouble with that pocket door in practice. He was firing a seven ball in there, and he just couldn't make it. He was hitting the jaws. Earl Strickland now takes the lead, uh, six to three. We got Bill Hendrickson sitting in the wings. We'll probably have him in the booth sooner or later. He's a great guy, and uh, he'll probably sit in for a match or two later on. Mr. Fleming's playing at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So we'll... Okay, we'll have uh, Bill Hendrickson come in for Mr. Fleming's match. No. No, no. Uh, next match. Or whenever. Whenever he wants. Okay. Yeah, he goes up. can take my spot. Business talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess... Uh, as the score now uh, gets a little more in advance, Earl leading by three. Uh, something's starting to fool around with the rack here. All right, what did Earl do? Tap it? I don't, yeah, agree. Smack I don't it with agree. the cue ball. I don't agree with it. You Sorry don't like say. tapping? No, I don't like tapping. The wing ball. Which was a three went right into the corner pocket. The one is dressing up. If it keeps coasting, it'll dress. Mm. We think cue ball behind the six. Yeah, he's going to send it up table. Got a big place to hide back there, that's for sure. Yeah. Let's see. He's going to go behind the two. Wow. Behind the six. Behind the six, yeah. He might be able to. I don't know. Two rail kick. Look at One that rail shot. That Look wow. at that shot. And, position. and only perfect. Great shot. He's got to get something going soon. It was out. actually a great shot. Oh, yeah. Really. Maybe it'll snap him out, get him going. That's what it is. You got to find your rhythm in this game.
see uh, Jared Arasamina in the chat there. I'm sorry, Jared, the chat is so far away from me, it's uh, incredible. I got it in front of the commentators. I can't really see when anybody enters the room. I want to say uh, Jared Arasamina, famous jazz musician right there. Uh, his music available on iTunes. Uh, great guy. His wife, Connie, I want to say hello to her also. Jared was the one that played the national anthem at the U.S. Open with a saxophone. Do you think he's going to do it again this, this I believe year? so, yeah. yeah. He's got a heart of gold, that guy right there. In addition to being a great musician. Yes, travels the world with uh, uh, Bob, one of Bob Molly's uh, group members started a group, and Jared's part of him. Nice little duck. I like that. You know, you're down by three. Some Good people shot. get aggressive when you're down, you know, and you really want to take that chance. Uh, that's real discipline right there, of, uh, Eric Hollison not taking that chance. Thus far, giving himself another opportunity to get to the table. Watch the rock. Whoa. Sticks it to the bottom rail. Good leave. Yeah. Leave that shot for anybody to shoot. Becomes double tough when you're down by three and you face with your shot, though. Absolutely. What do you do? You play safe or you nah, get the To me, this is a 50-50. If you're going to go 50-50, go for the shot every time. He, if he overcooks it a little right, bit, Steve. he can scratch in the you corner. You can't win ducking all the time. Nah, you you nah, got to nah. shoot. That's it. You can play two ways because you can. Now that corner that he's firing in, that upper left-hand corner, is the corner that Earl Strickland noticed was tough on his table. Mm -hmm. Earl he is going to the right. He did. He did play two ways. I think he left the window. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him. I would have shot it leaves. every time. He, he he played it the right way. Get a natural of the ball to get um, for a safety. Oh, look at that. <laughs> get out of here. And, yeah. Get the rail? He let, yeah, yeah, he had the rail with the, with the cue ball. Okay. It's a good kick. The Rock travels distance. The seven ball is going to find oh, the drink. And that. Eric Holopin is going to stay at the table as Earl Strickland goes back to his seat. Disgusted. Listen, that's the rule, right? Yep, that's nine ball. Nine ball. And you have to, there has to be roll with the punches. There has to be a little luck involved. It's not call shot, call safety. It's Mike Zuglin's nine ball tour. Has he, he's and been running it for years, and it works. He's a is he a little short? Yeah, he's still too much of an angle here. He's not happy. There'd be a lot less players in the He's going to go no two luck. rails. I mean, make the ball uh, run it two rails. Just stay straight. Make the, Cut the ball in, you mean? Yeah, cut the ball and stay Tough straight shot. rail to rail. Tough shot. Just oh, playing safe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good shot. Disappointing. <laughs> Earl is not happy. <laughs> Earl is not happy. Is he going to go one rail? Does he kick below the six here, or does he kick above the six ball? He here? should kick on the right side of the kick, of the six. He, click, he Ooh, kicked tried below to make the it. six. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Well, that you call it below? Okay, that that's below. But I meant below. right side, below. South. Right, south. Let's see how good the pocket is. Nice shot. So no. you wouldn't you wouldn't know that the pressure's on Eric uh, coming with a shot like that in uh, no. get position. The so question now is you go forward, you draw, what do you do? He's drawn back. He's gonna try to kill the rock, he's gonna stay below it. Um, let me ask you a question. You got any stories there, Pancake? Got any any kind of stories that you'd like to share? Of stories. course they have to be clean and about full. 
about pool, yes. Yeah. Uh, I like pool stories. Well, I've played a couple of these guys that are in the tournament. I played uh, Jason Shaw a few times, of course, getting a ton of weight. Right. I played at um, uh, in the city at Steinway Billiards we played. And uh, I'm actually up one set on him. I was getting the uh, the four out and ten ball. <laughs> four out. <laughs> Wait with, a minute. He's not done with, yet. I'm not done. Twelve games on the wire going at 20. <laughs> but he did have all the breaks. <laughs> so he had first shot at every rack. And you beat him. I beat him to two out of three sets. I got lucky. <laughs> but I played him. Four I, out. Four out. 12 games on the wire going to 20. Going to 20. And Jason gets all the breaks. Yep. I've played uh, Dennis Hatch. Uh, five out. Um, 12 on 20. And he's actually up three sets on me. And then... Um, I just, I, I like, I like, like I like the feeling. I like the feeling. The, yeah, the I like being in the box. I like yeah. the pressure. I like, uh, you know, if I had half the talent of some of these guys, you would definitely see me a lot more. How do well, you are playing. You, you are know, playing in the tournament. I am playing in the tournament. Yeah, I get to play Donnie Mills at 8 o'clock, and uh, I hear he's pretty good. <laughs> and you don't get 12, 12 games of games <laughs> on the wire? I'm going to ask him for it, but I, I don't think it's allowed. <laughs> I'm a I'm a C player, around the C player. So, but it's tough. It's tough to get um, players my speed to play for what I want to play for. So, right. You know, it's every, there's a game for every 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 speed. There's a game that can be made for every speed. Yeah, if they make it right, let's play. Absolutely. All right, Earl, instead of playing the combination, elected to go this way. He has to come all the way down table for the two. That's underneath the nine. Feathers the eight, and he still got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty good. <coughs> Earl uh, looking to put uh, three games lead back on the wire has control of this table and I do not no, believe got he behind got the there. six. No. This is a big rack too to make it six five compared to seven four. It's huge. And I don't know if that three ball is that deep in the pocket. He might be able to masse around this spin it off the rail. That's what he's doing. Yeah that three looks deep. Let's see how deep it is. Yeah, yeah it's deep in right the pocket. Now. The diamonds will get you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, he didn't really have much on that shot either. Why didn't he jump? Oh, you cannot. He could jump with the full stick, right? Yes, yes. he can. Yes, he can. And he can jump with a full cue. Uh-oh. That's trouble in River City, and it's spelled pool, folks. Eric did not want to touch that four ball. It looks like Earl is going to have another shot at the table. I don't, it might I be don't think four goes. Gonna might need a ref, maybe? No. Nope. Earl says shoot it. He's banking it. Yeah. Might be playing it. No. If he's going to play it, you bet rest assured Earl's going to jump out of the box. Oh, and there he is. He jumped out of the chair. Now, if Earl thinks that ball goes, he wouldn't even, do, even need a ref. But, you know, if uh, worse I comes to worse. I don't think it goes. I'd call a ref over anyway, just so there's no discrepancy. Let's, let's call a ref over. Absolutely. Well, get a ref. Earl's looking down the aisle. He Sometimes Earl really doesn't want to call a referee because he believes that his <laughs> eyes are sharper than anybody's. <laughs> right, right. So he does wave his hand, and then the referee is uh, sitting in the chair. Earl's trying to get his attention. Somebody does get the referee's attention, and he's uh, making his way down the aisle. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, that's as close as you can possibly get. Earl Strickland taking two and three looks at this shot. Um, he, might, he might explain to the referee to make sure you're right on top of this one, as this gentleman has just come into play. He's off screen. You can't this see is, him. Uh, the, the, this ball should not go under the fourth law of Newton. Well, if the six moves, 
It's no good. We don't get involved, by the way, if somebody asks anything. He hit it good. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. He hit it good. Did he slide into it? He something? just cut it right in. Cut it right in. It was a great shot. But just in case, you know, if there was controversy, we don't get involved. No, no. The no. only time we get involved is when Mike Sullivan comes down and wants to look at the recording. Right. Other than that. Did it happen before? Uh, I actually had to do a replay a few times. Yeah, I think it's a good thing to have, too. Well, thanks to your, you and your technology, I mean, your setup technology, you can do that. Good shot. See how the speed is. Looks mm, like look at that. The never ending cue ball. Tell you they they haven't had the speed right all all match. Eric Hollison uh, overruns a uh, position on the nine ball. Can you still make it in the corner or you have to I think get creative? I think he can cut it in the corner, but he's gonna go for the side pocket, I believe. And these side pockets are not forgiven. You better hit it good. Oh there man, it is. He that hit could it. be just hit it, that could hit it just right. That could so be the shot of the match right there. 65 now. This is turning into a nail biter for both players. That's still ways to go, right? It's a race to nine. Yeah, race still nine. ways to go. Yeah, rack for your for both opponent. players. I just saw that uh, Jason Shaw won his match, so he's advanced. And the score was what? Nine to four. Nine minus one. No, nine to four. <laughs> nine to yeah, four. Nine, nine. <laughs> could happen in uh, straight pool, you know, like <laughs> that's right. 150 <laughs> to minus two or three. Or six yeah, or happened before. Yeah, sure, it did many times. That's Earl's favorite game, straight pool. Have you ever been to Fosco's where Earl is I've been to Fosco's. Yeah? Yes, of course. What is the room like? Uh, I don't know if this is, because I heard they moved. So I don't know if I've been mm. to an older one or I've been to that one that they're in now. But they're still original owners or what? what? Well, Petey Fusco. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy passed away, rest in peace. Right. Left him kind of an open table. And we can hear Canada from here as uh, Eric Hollison is putting heat on. And making a game out of this, trailing only by one. At one point, he was trailing by three. But Earl's turn at the table could change things real quick. And I'm talking real quick when Earl, right now he's not punching the gear like his, his normal shooting. Once he starts adjusting better to this table, sometimes you don't blink. If it was uh, Earl and Jason Shar in the finals, it'd probably be over in about 22 minutes. <laughs> yeah. There are some quick shooters, especially Shaw. And that's including the fireworks. <laughs> yeah, the break time, yeah. Mm, he decided to go to the corner. He's probably going to play the six in the side pocket. Yeah, exactly. Just I thought he was going to play five in the side pocket as well. You know, the same, like six, five and six in the same pocket. But what do I know when you have five times world champion playing? <laughs> it's to slow down, slow down. Just make that ball. Good shot. He rolled a little bit too far, but Not this, is his, this is his favorite shot, yes, to shoot the ball into that corner and go three rail position for the night. Yeah, that's patented. I, I, I was Something watching him like practice that. these shots at Steinway when he was hanging out there, and he probably would hit it like for an hour, same shot. Very rarely missing. 
and you watch watch him and see where he's cueing the ball mm -hmm. for the shot where he stands to to aim and everything and you can pick up real details that you know very not easy to come they're not <laughs> natural details right so you watch and master like this and oh boy you saw how comfortable he was in that shot he just went for it and got perfect yeah because he you shot it a million times yeah absolutely oh i thought he was still in the cue ball <laughs> He might. He might. No, no, no. I was just joking. <laughs> it's like seven to five now. I, I swear, I respect his game so much. And I think he's a little bit more poised and more relaxed. Yes. I don't see a lot of tension in him that, no, that I usually do. He's, he's just calm. serious. He's not talking as much, which also helps. You know, maybe somebody is working on him, or he is working on himself. I don't know. But there's uh, no, there are some changes. When he was at Steinway, he was like a wild rocket, ready to <laughs> to to get fired. Out of, yeah, look oh, at look that. Look at that shot. Great shot, but what is he going to do with the three ball here? It's like a, that was a Canadian two-step. <laughs> Looks like it's right on the eight ball here. Going to probably play safe, maybe put him behind this nine ball. Where's three going to go? To the rail? Yep. Trying to get behind the nine. Using a six, a, using a nine shot. as a stopper. That's a good shot. That'll work. Mm. He's got to bear down now. Just doesn't have much leeway. Let's see what's. What, oh, look at that shot. Oh, did anybody see? Uh, I wasn't watching. I was actually taking care of something. I would have, if if I knew he was shooting like this, I yeah. would have had somebody watch Absolutely, him. that was very close. But I think they agreed that the shot was clean. Yeah. That was very close, though. I couldn't tell, so I cannot comment. <laughs> <laughs> They're out there playing. I got a bird of view. It's too it. fast for me. Yeah. yeah. Would, who did Shaw beat in his match? Um, He played... Let's see... Uh, Perhach, Perhak. I'll take out so the iPad uh, tomorrow and I'll throw it up here. We can keep up to date with the scores at every table and mm -hmm. who they're playing. Where, where are the brackets? On azbilliards.com. Easy Easy billiards. That's, that's, billiards. that's what I'm on right now. Yeah. Perfect. They will be updated uh, every two hours. Every round. Yeah, every two hours, basically. Yeah. Karen Core is up seven to nothing in her match. <laughs> Foof. She's looking to come back uh, for the first place finish this time. Is this another of her runaways? <laughs> She's gonna, just Don't gonna count her out any time. Plow through the whole field. She beat J she beat Jason, the, the, I believe. The, One uh, time, the, yeah. Yeah, the first, the first go around. coming a safety battle here. Well, Eric said uh, he's really got no choice. Uh, you know, Earl Strickland is one game from the hill. Yep. Uh, so, he, you know, Eric knows exactly he's got to play him as tough as he can. But that cue ball just leaked out enough where Earl Strickland sees the left side of that three. He has to play harder safeties. You know, like... Uh, it, yes. it's, it's a little tough right now. The speed, because of the, the speed. sliding of the ball and speed. everything? Yep. Okay. I wonder if Earl's looking at this seven, going off this three and making the seven in the side. Oof. Well, I'm sure he looked at it before he Really? <laughs> really? Before he's he going to go for that shot? Earl right. told me when he gets up out of his seat and approaches the table that he sees the table in numerous ways of patterns to get out. Look at that. Uh, I think he tried. It looks like he tried to get the five, behind the five. That's I do not shot. believe he was going for the seven. I, I Earl mean, Strickland. Uh, that would be a real wild. Right there. <laughs> That's a real good shot. 
might just partially jump over this five ball. He's got a little piece yeah, of the five you, ball. You, jump over. you can do it with uh, yeah, and get the three in off the eight. Right, yeah. the eight ball kind of makes the corner pocket big. So you big might pocket. see Eric Hollison jump this with a full cue. Just a little piece of the five ball in his way, and the three ball might hit the eight and go into the corner. And if you can hit it square enough. And to remind everybody, no jump sh uh, jump sticks around allowed here. Right. So right. you have to jump either with your breaking cue or with your playing cue. Correct. Full cue, yeah. Yeah, he's got to hit a good shot here. Everything's wide open. Jumping what just shot. He jumped over the side of the <laughs> five, right? Yep. Yeah. What nice. a shot. Nice shot. And he didn't have to disturb the eight ball at all. Would you like to know what's going on on the chat? Oh. No, I, I, I can't really see the chat. I check on it occasionally. But Do if you anything, want me to turn the monitor No, no. I want it for you guys. I want it for you guys. I could, I, I could bring it here. I'm too, I'm too, ca cap, what's the right word? I Captivated <laughs> by, by Earl's game. Yeah. So right now it's Eric at the table. He's uh, looking to close within one. Again. Again, yeah, he, sh he should be out here. Shot on the three. That was it. I don't think we have any Taiwanese players. I, on this, there's a girl here, right? Jolly, you mean? I, there, I think there's a uh, Chinese girl here. Jolly. Okay, yeah. it's seven to six now. Eric Collison, uh, like uh, Pancake said, it pulls within I, one I once did again. I don't see any world uh, Chinese players here. Ta no, no. I understand there's going to be quite a few probably participating at Derby City Classic uh, coming up. And mentioning Derby City Classic, there's also going to be an AccuStats Make It Happen event coming up. And there's some top secret stuff going on behind the scenes. Uh, hopefully we can get Pat Fleming in here to announce them. I kind of know what it is, but it, I don't think it's my position to announce it. So I'll be curious. At one what point, uh, hopefully during the tournament, we'll get Pat in here and he can uh, let everybody know uh, what's going to go, what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe after his match when he, you know, when he wins, when he's done. Yeah. When he wins. Did you, did you, Matt, he's playing Matt Tetro uh, at eight o'clock. Look at that nine ball going towards the pocket. Looks like everything's starting to go in. Look I mean, he that. just hit him square. That was a great break. But the uh, shot on the one isn't there. Now he can play the safe and play the nine. Luck does count. So he could feather this one ball and play the cue ball back into the nine ball and possibly make the nine. There's a billiard there. Even if you get the rail first, that nine might drop. And if you miss it, you might leave the one and the cue ball safe with the four seven where they are. So he's got an opportunity here actually to try that. We'll I go it. for it. You go for the billiard. I go for the, the ball? combo, uh, bank combo. Absolutely. Um, it's it's too it's too close bank to the pocket combo? to to not, not try. Bank combo. I think just no, feather just, it. Yeah, just carry, carry oh, off the bank. one to the rail. B I, I play bank combo. I don't like that. There it is. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I yeah, like. That's and you see how the four and the seven he play took a big part there. He took the other way. Did he get too far? I think you can see the one. Yeah. Either that or you can easily kick. I think he was more going for the safe. I don't really think he was trying for no, the He can't see no. the one at I, all. No, no, the speed was not the, the right for the shot. So he was going for the safe only. He's got to kick this good. Look at that shot. Look at the nine ball. Oh, the one's in. Goes right past The one's it. in. Look at that with position. 
That's Beautiful great shot. shot. I love it. The worst thing was probably running through Earl's head that he's going to bump the nine and leave a one-nine combination shot for Eric when that cue ball was, I mean, that one was going that you way. You know what? I don't think Earl even thinks that <laughs> way. Oh, he does, trust me. <laughs> he, he thinks he's the human. ball is going in. He's human. He can go three rails back to the eight. It'll go past the nine, but how's the speed on the rock? Look at that. Kind of overcooked, but a makeable shot. Earl waves his hand, but Is he going to bank it? No, he's cutting nah, it straight he's in the hole. He's got, he's got the pocket. He banks this on buying you a new car tonight. <laughs> he's a great banker, man. Good shot. Earl Strickland uh, approaching the hill. He's got to sink this nine ball to get there. To the hill he goes, eight to six. Earl Strickland over the Canadian professional Eric Hollison so far. It's a race to nine. Upstate Al in the booth with uh, Alex Brokovich, and of course all the way down the other end is uh, Gary is your real name, right? Or what's Sean. 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 Yeah, I'd take a shot. <laughs> Had a 50-50 chance. Sean. Pancake. Gary is good. Gary's good. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> That's all right, Al. You, you know why? Do you know why he confused you? He confused him, um, you with Gary, the mm -hmm. Irish guy from Steinway. No, no. Oh, he, Gary Callahan? I've, I've played Gary before. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm nothing like Gary. I love Gary, though. Gary's a good guy. <laughs> we have different accents. You grew up on the west side. He grew up on the east side. <laughs> Ooh, one ball. Oh. It's kicked in. Look at that. Is he going to have a shot on the two? Looks like it. Uh, yeah, but he's going to hit the six. I'll tell you, Eric, Eric hit that last break very well. Got no reward on that one ball. He's got to take time and figure out. Look at that. What a shot. He didn't even. Wow. Now he's got to worry about running into the six ball to get back to the four. Four. Four's all the way on the rail. Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be the, the shot of the match. Yeah. Draw. Draw with left. Look at that. Oh, I think he, I think the eight's blocking the four. No, no, no. Good shot. It was a great shot. <coughs> yeah. To miss the six ball. Well, you know, with that know. speed. How Absolutely. many times you see him fire that shot on triple shim tables? Just incredible, incredible. Plays it with, the, you know, the speed and reverses off to look the long at, rail. Look at that in. ball drift. That is look drifting. Look at that wow. ball drift. Wow. Yeah, but you know what? I don't think he hit it. Right. I mean, um, the angle where he hit the rail, he yeah. hit the rail in the, s in the middle of the rail on the, on the other side. I'll tell you what, with, with, hit, with this tournament, not to cut you short, but I got to cut you short because yeah. a drift like that uh, just tells me that the table might be off. And what the good thing about this tournament is Mike Zuglin wants this equipment playing top notch. So he has diamonds mechanics up at the front on a standby just in case a ball gets stuck. Anything happens, yeah. it has to be repaired. You can rest assured after this that Paul or one of the, uh, his son will come out and balance this table or at Absolutely. least check it. Absolutely. Now, Paul is such a perfectionist. He, he was here for many hours, maybe 12 hours just or more just trying to level the table or getting them perfect but you know things do happen earl strickland wins the match nine to six of eric hollis and eric is not out of the tournament folks he's just going to move over to the b side of the chart i want to thank uh these two gentlemen right here thank you very much Al. uh alex yep. and uh Sean down the end, uh, a.k.a. Pancakes, and Alex Borokovich, good friend Pancake. of mine for many years, Pancake. That's the name. That's and, the uh, name. 
Folks, we're going to be back at 6 o'clock with another match. I'll let you know who it's going to be. Thank you, uh, Sean and uh, Gary. Right. And Thank you. Andrew. Welcome. Thanks, guys. My pleasure. All right. Nice. Well, folks, as uh, the commentator stepped out of the booth, I got a little bit of update, uh, some news going for you right here. And uh, we're going to bring it up on the screen momentarily as we clear the graphics. I uh, want to mention uh, Sandcastles in Edison, New Jersey. Uh, take a good look at this poster right here. It states, save the date with uh, exclamation points. And he does it for a good reason, because he doesn't want people to miss out on an opportunity to take this tournament down. Make sure to get in touch with the Sandman, Ed Ladawi. You could see 2016's champion was George Rodriguez, who happens to be participating at the Turning Stone right now. Uh, it will be live streamed. There's the address on the poster. Get in touch with uh, Ed Ladaui at uh, Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. But that's not all that's going on. There's always something going on there, and that's where the Aramis uh, Simonis Arena is located. Mr. Pat Fleming and crew of Accustats. But uh, Ed Ladaui doing so much for pool. I'd love to see a lot of people really start participating. Uh, he tries so hard, and he gets the crew, but he wants to get more crew, and I can't blame him. But he's got something else coming up. Here it is right here. It's a monthly one-pocket open. That's right. You heard it. A one-pocket open. For all you one-pocket players, uh, you can get in touch with that again at Sandcastles. It's limited to 16 players, of course, a double elimination in one pocket. You know, for you one-pocket players, in fact, we have a one-pocket player that will be coming into the booth at 8 o'clock tonight to do Pat Fleming's match live here on the stream. You're into one pocket. This is the place to be. It's a one pocket invitational. Again, Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. I'm upstate Al of AZB TV. We'll be right back with another match at 6 o'clock. And I'll put it up on the screen for you guys as soon as I can type it in. Thank you, everybody. And please spread the word and let everybody know we're on the air.